That's freaking weird, man. Isn't it? Yeah, like there's someone else taking a picture. Yeah, I don't see any, like... Hey humans, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another TikTok video. Yay! I know these are kind of turning into a monthly thing, but you guys seem to like them and I get tagged in so many videos that I, like, want to respond to as many as possible. I also am kind of addicted to making these videos. They're really fun to make and kind of give me a break from, like, the normal super dark depressing content, so... Hope you guys like these, because here we are. Today, we have 10 more TikToks that you guys tagged me in that are going viral, that are very, very, very creepy. And I'm going to explain them all to you and if they're actually real or not. So we will get right into that. This video does gratefully have a sponsor. So I'm going to roll to the ad read and I will be right back with you guys. This video is sponsored by Hungry Roots. As you guys know, I've been using Hungry Root for the last couple of months now and absolutely love them. I am just so grateful to them today for sponsoring another video as well as giving you guys a discount code. Start by taking their fun and short quiz. The quiz will help Hungry Root get to know you and your goals. Do you want to eat more veggies? Do you want to just try new recipes? Hungry Root will then send you personalized weekly deliveries. The coolest part is that they send you 10 minute recipes that go along with the groceries they send you but you can choose to make them into those recipes or not. You could also just use the groceries they send on your own to mix and match them with other groceries in your fridge, however you'd like. Using Hungry Root leads to fewer trips to the store and less food waste. There's over 2000 recipes to discover with a wide variety of options for any type of eating preference. Hungry Root has caught on to the fact that I love tacos and pork especially pork tacos. Sure enough, that was one of the recipes they sent me in the last box. It was pulled pork tacos with this amazing cucumber corn black bean salad that goes in the tacos with the pork. This bean salad is something that I would never think to try on my own and it tasted so good on the tacos, but I also just like ate leftover salad the next day right out of the container because it's so good. I would have like never thought to buy that on my own. Anyway, these tacos were so easy to make and they were such a good alternative to eating out. You guys know that I'm really bad at thinking up meals to eat, let alone of getting the right stuff at the store. So having Hungry Root around prevents me from ordering too much takeout and just saves me a ton of trips to the grocery store by giving me these super simple but delicious healthy things to make for dinner instead. I always have dinner ideas. It's wonderful. The first 100 people to use my code Hannah the Horrible 40 will get 40% off your first grocery order with Hungry Root. Use the link in the show notes and use code Hannah the Horrible 40 to get 40% off. Okay, as always, don't send hate to any of the people that I mention in this video. I mean, they're posting it on the internet. That's their choice. <laughs> they're posting it publicly, so we are allowed to talk about it. However, don't be mean to anybody. I don't I don't care if people believe in ghosts or if they don't. I also think all this stuff is really fun, whether it's fake or not. So, okay, let's watch the first video together. This is from the account, The Bonehead. You're gonna see a ghost sitting next to her in her reflection on the TV, like it'll be clear. Okay, so am I tripping or... Okay, so the noise is my turtle. And I'm home alone, right? But... The reflection shows like that's me. This is actually not the first time I've seen a video with this kind of format. My question for this particular creator would be, why are you keeping your video so close to your face? Like so close to your face that we can't see anything else in the frame. We can't see to your left or to your right, which you claim is empty. Many people in the comments are just calling her out for like, why are you so calm? If most people saw that in the TV, they would run away instantly and be like crying. 
maybe they would take their phone out to film it to prove it, but also you'd be freaking the hell out. Anyway, if you watch the video again, you can kind of see when she has the camera facing her on her left side, you can kind of see a blanket or like a dark thing, which I think is just a blanket on the couch. And again, we can't see the whole thing because it's so close up. But that's the same side that the figure miraculously shows up on the TV. I bet you money that she had a friend or somebody under a blanket next to her and she was keeping them conveniently out of the frame while she was talking. But then right before flipping the camera over, her friend throws the blanket off of them and sits up to make it look like there was somebody in the reflection, but not actually sitting next to them. This would not be that hard to stage. And I bet you that's what it is. I also find it really suspicious that she wouldn't show us the spot next to her after she showed us in the TV. Like she won't show us the spot directly next to her on the left. Like, yeah, nobody finds that weird. It's just, yeah. Just Noah1212 is the next account. This one I also got tagged in quite a bit. We're just gonna watch this one first. But tell me why I was literally just shitting my fucking pants because I looked over my right and this dog just kind of like, kind of just like looked at me straight in the face and then winked at me. It's okay, buddy. Oh, don't hop over my car. Hey, um, do me one favor and please just try and get back to your owner, okay? Like there's a road right there where people go really fast. See like that car right there? That could have killed you. Where the fuck did it go? I said this to the person that tagged me in this video. Um, slight tangent coming, but why did he say don't get in my car? Why did he tell the dog not to get in the car? Like, what? I would instantly have told that dog to get in my car. I would have opened the door and hopefully got it in the car so that it would be safe. It had a collar on, like you would wanna hopefully get the dog so you could call the owners and let them know that their dog was out running along busy streets. Before anyone says anything, yes, I have 1000% done this before. Ask my parents, they know of several times that this has happened and I've either made them double back for a dog to make sure that it's okay or one time, there was a dog that was like running on the side of a very, very busy road and it knew to stay on the sidewalk. It was very weird. But I pulled a Yui and then I parked like a few yards up from where the dog was running to. And then when the dog was like running by me, I was like, hey, come here. And I invited the dog and the dog hopped right in my car, which was great. But I got the dog in the car so that I could safely call its owner. So it wasn't running along the side of the road. Like, I am so confused by this. To me, like that in itself makes it seem like it's set up because this is probably a dog that he either knew or a friend's dog or something like that because I don't understand why you'd be like, don't get in my car and then you just tell the dog to be careful. The dog doesn't understand English. What are you talking about? Like, yeah, be careful. This road is so busy. It's a dog, sir. I mean, in spite of the paranormal aspect that this video is supposed to portray, that, I can't let that part go. I keep getting stuck on that detail because I don't understand why you wouldn't try to like hold the dog or you had the dog like right there. Like even if you don't invite it to his car, like grab its collar and see if you can gently like coax it to sitting so that you can call the, okay, sorry. Like I said, tangent. Anyway, the main point of this video is that if you didn't understand it, is that everyone thinks this dog was this guy's guardian angel and that this dog saved this guy's life because it stopped him right before a car went by and would have T-boned him or hit him. And then at the end of the video, the dog seems to just like disappear into midair, which is why people think it was like a guardian angel. And okay, tangent number two, maybe I'm dumb, but I don't get it. Like I get the concept of the dog disappearing and how crazy that is, but he was stopped for several seconds before that car came and the car, like he saw the car coming if that dog wasn't there, you would have stopped there and looked and saw a car coming and you wouldn't have gone. Or you had a few seconds ahead, you would have pulled out in front of it. I don't understand why this was a near miss. Like it's a near miss if you cross through an intersection and then a car comes literally like a half a second later. So maybe I'm dumb and I missed something and I don't see how the layout is or something like that. Like I'm really hoping that I'm dumb in this situation. 
but I don't understand how that was a near miss to begin with. And then as for the dog disappearing, I'm pretty sure it's dark out and that was a dark dog in a dark setup. I'm pretty sure that dog just like hobbled to the back of your car and was out of sight when you put the phone back. Like, I don't understand why this is so crazy for people. It doesn't seem weird at all. I think the dog just ran off. <laughs> the dog just ran to the back of the car where you can't see it. I'm so confused as to why this is paranormal. Anyway, okay, let's move on to the next video. This one is definitely a little different. I'm watching this. That's the news from the tornado. Y'all watch when I put play. You see up in the cloud. Watch them people walk out the car. People are fine. We then had to pull over because that's when emergency crews were headed towards when we saw an ambulance. We saw a fire truck headed that way. And so we are almost there, but uh, we're not even in Wayne yet. And this is the damage we're seeing. We saw a few people kind of outside. So that's supposed proof that heaven is real. The video I got tagged in was not the original person. It was a repost of this video from someone else. So if you go to the original TikToker that posted this video, it's actually somebody named Lavar Nanali, 1977. If you look through their comment, someone who goes by Millennial Doll posted a comment about where they got this footage from, the full newscast. So you could find it on YouTube by looking up WREG News, Channel 3, Severe Weather Coverage, March 31st, 2023. At around the 47, 40 minute mark around there, you could see that this is the news coverage of this exact thing, but it's not somebody filming their television. It's the original video. When you see the full picture, those look like a part of the clouds to me. This person was zooming in on that one spot and it was a video of another screen. It wasn't the original video. So of course it looks a little different. But if you look at the full thing, it doesn't look like people walking up into heaven at all. It literally looks like a dark part of the cloud moving, just like the rest of the clouds are moving in that spot. I'm very, I'm not confused. I can see why people would like think that, but also look a little bit harder before just believing this. And I'm not saying, I don't care if you believe in God or not. Like I'm not religious, but I don't care if people believe in God or heaven. But if heaven is real, I'm pretty sure that it's not that close to us. This were actually people walking into heaven. I think we'd see this a lot more frequently and we would see it like flying in airplanes and stuff like that. Pilots would report it a lot. The next one is from the account Foul Mitten Outdoors and a supposed cryptid that keeps getting onto his property. I can't tell you how many times I got tagged in these guys' various videos. So we're going to watch the one that I was tagged in and we're going to watch another one of his videos as well in a minute. Oh yeah, FYI, there's a gunshot in this one that I'm going to block out the gunshot sound and I'll tell you on with a caption where the gunshot sound is so you know what's going on but it's just kind of a jump scare in my opinion and I don't really like hearing the sound of gunshots personally so I'm just gonna edit that out just FYI they're all over the damn place again tonight you're gonna keep walking towards it Might actually get to capture something here. Son of a bitch. All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. Stay out of this place. This is our home. This is our home. Need to leave. Need to leave now. I think it's gonna come around for a little bit. I think that'll keep it away for a while. Oh God, I hope that does it. I really do. 
My first question about this video is why is it so far away and then you approach it that much like fine but why don't you zoom in the camera at all and then he does zoom in the camera after the supposed creature runs away after it's gone and then he zooms in I don't get it and this is one of those videos I'll be honest I can't definitively debunk this like yes I do think that this is fake and I'll tell you why but I can't like it's impossible to have solid proof that this is fake because it's so far away and it's set up in a way that you can't really definitively debunk it, which fair, whatever. But my first thought seeing just this video was, sir, are you sure that is not a deer? Because you're shining a light right at it. And as the saying goes, froze like a deer in the headlights and so it would make sense that if it was a deer that far in the distance it would be looking at you like that and freezing because you're shining a light on it and then it just ran away after you shot towards it i'm sure a creature would look really creepy from where you're standing i'm pretty sure anything alive that far away in the dark with a light on it would look really creepy no matter what it is now he does make it seem way more legit by and not staged by shooting at it because I would like to think that a responsible gun owner wouldn't shoot directly at their friend if this was some friend in a costume a responsible gun owner hopefully wouldn't just shoot randomly towards somebody at all but first of all that's wishful thinking and second of all I'm pretty sure there's these things called blanks I don't I'm not a gun expert I'm not going to pretend to be so you guys can correct me if I'm wrong but couldn't he load the shotgun with blanks so that if it was a friend and he was setting up this whole thing he could fire blanks at the friend so the friend wasn't in danger isn't that a thing anyway I'm going to show you this other video of his that I got tagged in a lot and this creature is on the roof I'll, I'll just show you the video really quick first well she just woke me up again and uh said she heard it on the roof and this time so did I so I'm gonna get out there and have a look Get the other side. Oh, damn. Holy shit. All right. Some of bitches went on the other side of the house. Oh. Where'd it go? What is that? What the son of a... What's going on here? Oh my God. So again, all these paranormal videos where you actually see the creature, like why are they always peeking around a corner and then quickly hiding away? They all do that. Like all these creatures in these videos are peeking around the corner at you and then hiding away really quick. So you just see a small glimpse of them. Like every single freaking one. Why are all ghosts like that? Like are all creatures cryptids like, like what? That is so stupid. You're clearly setting this up and doing that to make it creepier. But my theory of this being staged was quite confirmed when I looked at other videos on his account. And there's been a lot of videos on his account dedicated to this creature, not surprisingly, because he's getting a lot of views for it. This is the video that I'm showing you guys right now that put like the nail on the coffin for me of all these bones because they look extremely extremely set up they look very precariously placed like they're trying to make it look like they're scattered randomly but they definitely aren't and that just like took it too far for me and made me absolutely sure that he's setting all of this up he's getting a friend and putting them in some sort of weird like bodysuit or costume and then doing really really crappy video of them so you can't tell and you can't say that it's not real because you can't see it well enough to make a determination the other reason why I'm fairly confident that this is fake is if you had this much evidence 
for cryptids or something paranormal on your land and this was real evidence of them, why aren't you contacting the news? This would be a huge international story if it were real. And then there's like experts that hunt Bigfoot and cryptids for a freaking living, or at least as a very strong hobby, they would want to see this and be all over it with you. So if this were real, he would be telling somebody, but he's not going to do that because then they would know that he's faking it for TikTok views. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get views, to be fair, but I can still call you out for being fake. This is from the account Cursed Homes. Again, I don't think this is their original video. I think this is a repost and this has been just viral and been posted around the internet quite a bit. This was a video allegedly recovered from a trail camera in the Appalachian Mountains. Ooh, I really like this video. Unfortunately, I did do a little bit of digging and I can't find the origin of this video or who made it. Most of the comments are just jokes. Nobody with insight as to what this could be. One person said that they thought it was somebody walking on their hands and knees. I definitely don't think that's it. I'm not sure I've ever seen a person that tall and skinny that would be able to do this. It might be somebody walking on their hands and knees and then edited in video software but that's not a person on its own. I'm not saying it's real, but that's not a regular human. Others suggest CGI, which seems like the most likely explanation to me for this particular one. It definitely looks like something that could be done with CGI. And I mean, I wanna bring this up because if you guys remember this video, we've talked about this one before, but I've also seen this one around. It's like regarded as a super, super creepy video and it's claimed to be all kinds of things, but the creator of that particular viral video is known and it's a CGI artist. So if something that cool and realistic can be made like this of two supposed witches climbing up a wall. You guys don't think this could be CGI? Like I think that's way more likely than it being some crazy creature. Again, this is another one that would be on the news if it was real. This next account is One Money Hunter or goes by I, I think it's pronounced Tommy, might be pronounced Tommy. I don't know. This person does metal detecting, beach combing, et cetera, like general treasure hunting, really cool. Here's a clip of something he found and everyone is begging him to put it back where he found it and never touch it again. <laughs> A lot of people in the comments I'm seeing are believing this one pretty wholeheartedly. He goes on to have other videos like this where he's digging up more stuff from this same site. Witches are weighing in on TikTok to explain what the other jars and other artifacts might be. It's a whole thing. The reason I'm skeptical as usual, I'm starting to sound redundant, but it's hard not to be skeptical because 
pretty much everything online makes me skeptical. The reason I'm skeptical is because I could think of a very easy explanation for this. He or she or they could have bought a Halloween decoration, an old Halloween decoration, or they found an old Halloween decoration of some little skeleton thing and either put wings on it or it came with wings on it, but it's a fairy looking skeleton thing and, um, or, you know, found it on Etsy. He put it in a mason jar, gunked it all up with mud and then buried it and left it there for a while so that the mud would stick on. He also finds a hoof later, as you could see, which is a little too on the nose for me. A hoof is usually a sign of a goat, which would be a sign of Satan or some type of devil worshiping ritual. And okay, like what are the odds? <laughs> Plus this seems to be a very, very active hobby for this person. And I'm sure all these weird objects that he's found, he's found in other places and has just collected them over the years. And he took the weirdest and the ones that are the most sinister looking and then buried them in this spot to make it look like he uncovered some ritualistic hole that somebody put a curse on somebody or whatever they think it is. And then just notice in the videos, we only see him dig these up. We don't see the ground and the soil before he starts digging them up. So we don't see if the soil is undisturbed or anything, which is understandable, but also a little too convenient for my taste. Come on, you guys, let's use Occam's razor here. We've done it before. I've practiced it with you. What is the most likely explanation that this was some thing he found off of Etsy or something that he found at a Halloween store and then he set this whole thing up and made it look like he dug it up? or this is a full on real fairy skeleton. And I hate to be a broken record, but yet again, if he had found a fossil like this, archeologists and other experts would be interested. It would be on the news. This would be a big freaking deal. So stop it with this nonsense. Okay, our seventh TikTok for today is the account Martina Mina, I think is how it said, um, goes by Miriam. I get tagged in her videos so much. And I've talked about one of them before in these videos, but I'm going to talk about it again on a different video because I just keep getting tagged over and over. So I kind of want to finish this account off once and for all. Let's watch. <laughs> I wish people would stop spreading this person's videos because I don't like them. I have some criticisms. This video that we just watched together has almost 200 million views. Almost 200 million. That is an insane amount of views. That is more than Mr. Beast gets in the majority of his videos. She has another one with over 100 million views. And the one that we talked about in a previous video has over 40 million views. That is a huge red flag for me right there because that just gives major motive for continuing this little shtick. Because if you're making hundreds of millions of views off those videos, you're gonna keep making them. That's not the issue that I have with this account. I'm just saying that that's red flag number one motive. I can confidently say that this one is staged and faked though. Let's take a look at the video we just watched. For example, if you watch carefully at the beginning, you could see her move a string to the other hand from one hand to the other. That is what is attached to the sippy cup and that's what's pulling it down. I'll play it for you in slow motion again right here so you could see what I'm talking about. She has a string in her hand. Here's another video of hers. This one also has over 100 million views. Absolutely adorable baby. Love the baby. But there's someone with fishing line off camera or someone in a green screen suit that was edited 
out of the video in post that's moving this doll. Of course the baby's laughing. Like that would be hilarious if you were a baby. People are getting just more and more clever with this stuff and their magic tricks on how to do this. The green screen suit I think is relatively new, but I've shown you before, very, very easy to buy one for super cheap off of Amazon. You could literally do whatever you wanted in a room and easily edit the person out afterwards in post. In this video that was duetted by Bishop James Long, I've seen a few of his videos. He often reviews paranormal content as well. He pointed out that in this video of theirs, if you slow it down and look carefully, you could see someone's shadow and a glimpse of their hand around the corner. They are manipulating strings around the corner to make those pictures move. Again, as we saw in the first video we watched just now, that little black creature that's peeking out of the corner, again, doing that same like, oh, what you do? Oh no, thing that all ghosts seem to do. It's obviously a person dressed in black. I don't know how she got them up on the ceiling like that. My bet would be there's a ladder around the corner that's slightly off screen and it's somebody at the top of the ladder making the motions and like peeking out from the ceiling would be my best guess. So I would like to put to bed once and for all that this account is for sure set up. It's all too convenient. It's all staged. Why are there cameras in these exact spots so perfectly with stuff out of frame so that we conveniently can't see everything? Regardless of all that, I do, this account actually, I have some criticism for it because I don't like that she drags her children into this. It's very hard to say this without coming off as like mom shamey. I'm also not a mom and I'm not the epitome of morality. I'm not perfect. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. And I'm also one of those people that I, I don't like family vlogs and family channels and parents profiting directly off of their children and their children's um, meltdowns and stuff like that, obviously. But I am very much of the mindset that it's okay to have your kids on social media sometimes, as long as you're keeping private things private and respecting their privacy. And obviously if they're having a breakdown, like don't film that for views, let your child be a child, but them being on social media and like them being in the background of a video every now and then, or asking them a question, I, I am not as touchy about that as some other people are. So like, for example, the baby in that video laughing about the doll, like that's whatever, in my opinion, that's just a cute video. That's, you know, not going to hurt the child or anything like that. What feels yucky to me is that she's either scaring her son in order to get these reactions or she's roped him into acting for these videos. Since we know this is fake, he's obviously either in on it or she's like been scaring him on purpose to make him react like this. But I would bet he's acting. I would bet that he's doing it to like to appease his mother. I don't like it. It feels really manipulative to us because it's going to be more convincing to people because like, oh, if her kid's scared, then it must be real. Like kids can't act and make stuff up, which yes, they can. And I just think it's a little exploitative to use her son to make her ghost videos more realistic. Like I don't like it. I don't like it. The next account is Cena Sale at Victoria Zo one two three. We're just gonna watch this blindly before I explain. I'll be playing this video more than once during my explanation, so don't worry if you don't catch the whole thing. <laughs> Short and sweet. So what happens in the video is basically these guys throw a shoe or it's more like a sandal slipper type shoe. You know, the ones I'm talking about. They throw it up at this thing and the thing soon flies away. It's weird because this thing looks like it's just floating in midair before flying away. So people are really confused about that as well as the fact that the thing looks like it's glowing. So how could it just be like a bird, right? Well, I'm here to tell you it's definitely a bird. It's also not floating in midair. It's sitting on a power line. You can't really see the power lines in the video if you just watch it in passing because of that glare off the street lamp or the moon or whatever that light is to the left on this video is like making it so you can't see. But if you pause, I'll pause it and show you right here. Those are definitely power lines and you just can't see it. 
if you look, if you zoom in and look very carefully and slow the video down, it's definitely a bird. You can see its wings and you can see it fly away. Again, I think it's the glare of that street light or whatever it is that's making the bird look as if it's glowing. It's just like reflective. What I cannot answer about this video is where the hell that shoe goes after he throws it because he throws it up and it seems to disappear on the way back down. And again, I took this video and I watched it so many times zoomed in and slow-mo and I cannot tell where the shoe went. It looks like it disappeared. Some people say that it simply fell on the roof of the building so you don't see it land on the ground because it lands on the roof of that building, which maybe and maybe it's just so far away you can't really tell. And then it also looks like maybe it does fall here at the end if you look closely. Like you see his buddy kicks it casually away. He's like kicking something. So maybe the shoe does fall down and you just don't see it land and it's just the way the angle of the video i don't know it's very strange that this video went viral in the first place it seems like all just explained by lighting and camera quality I don't think these guys meant to go viral. I don't even think that they were laughing at the bird. I think they were laughing at something else random is my guess because the bird flying away is not that big of a deal. Like they would have seen it was a bird, right? So TikTok number nine for today is from the account Blue French Horn 26. Please somebody tell me what in the living bejesus my daughter's boyfriend recorded tonight on his way to his lifeguard training. It's a dead bird and it's floating in the sky. Oops. You can only drive a certain level of slowness. That's freaking weird, man. Isn't it? Yeah, like there's someone else taking a picture. Right? It's just so weird because it should be moving. Yeah, I don't see any like. I don't see anything like. Alright, yeah, I'm ready to drive. Yeah. What if it just dropped all of a sudden? Wouldn't that be freaky? Okay, well, let's go before it just drops on us. That's so weird. This is one that went very, very viral. And I actually, it's one of the few I don't believe is set up. There's other people in the video, obviously, that are stopping to try to take photos of this thing. So it's baffling other people as well. So I don't think it was set up. I don't know how you'd set this up anyway. Some explanations, people are saying that it's a drone that's like shaped like a bird and it got caught there. Others are saying that it's spider webs. It got caught in spider webs because spider webs are a lot stronger than people think, which is true. But I think that's like, if like 10 spider webs are all combined together and trapped together. Like if you put spider webs a bunch on top of each other, then it would be stronger. I don't think a bird could just fly into a random spider web and like get caught. So that makes no sense to me. I think the most likely explanation is the one I've seen around where this bird got caught in fishing line somehow and it tried to fly out of the fishing line, but it was like all tangled up in it. So the fishing line then got caught in the trees around this area or in the power lines, but most likely got wrapped up in the trees and then the bird got stuck there completely and ended up passing away. I will say I don't have a great explanation for this overall. The fishing line thing seems like the most likely explanation, especially because you wouldn't really be able to see the fishing line from the street, especially when it like it's clearly raining out and gray out they had the windshield wipers on and so you would be confused like you would be looking at that like what the heck is that but it just seems very very unlikely in the sense that that would be such a rare thing to happen so many things would have to come together at the same time for a bird to get stuck there but it is technically possible i just don't know what else that would be like i don't think that video is supposed to be like paranormal or anything like that so I don't know why anybody would think that it is. I think that it's just a very, very crazy coincidence. But I would be really curious to know what you guys think about that one. Please leave me other possible explanations in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Okay, this is the last TikTok for today. This is from the Bose headphones, right from the Bose TikTok account. Yes, like the headphone company Bose, surprisingly. Let's just watch it first. Hi everyone, Chloe from Bose here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for checking on myself and the other Bose TikTok admins. 
but I must ask you now to please stop. Your constant concern is doing more harm than good. Sorry, no harm is being done here. It's getting real hot. But now that we have that housekeeping out of the way, what about the Bose QC45 headphones? Am I right? My favorite part about them is that when I wear them, nobody can hear my screams. Sorry, that's not how it's. When I, I love them. Don't you want to buy them? So <laughs> this, of course, is freaking a lot of people out. And if you go into their account, there's a lot of videos like this, like anything with on their account with this girl Chloe in it she is looking off camera and acting like she's being held hostage it's very entertaining but they're doing a lot of these other types of videos too that are just like a little off or like a little creepy people do not need to freak out this is simply a marketing ploy and a pretty creative one I'll bet you money they have Gen Zers on their team on the marketing team or at least that works somewhere in the boys company and they suggested that they do this for the TikTok account because they know what gets young people's attention and they knew that this would make them go viral. They know that these types of videos get a lot of views and a lot of engagement, especially of people who are concerned, as we've seen in very similar situations like this, like Britney Spears doing this allegedly, or at least we think that she did, as well as Bebop and Bebe. They would do like that same thing, you know? It causes a lot of engagement and this would be a lot of free advertising for the company. It's a public company. I'm pretty sure the authorities would be involved very quickly if there was any concern about this being real. If they were really holding people captive at the company, it's a public company. People know where they are. People know where the headquarters are. Like they could easily have the police come and check on them. So don't worry, guys. It's just a marketing ploy. Some people are arguing that this is unethical for a company to be making jokes, pretending to hold people captive, and it's a serious matter, and they're basically making it into a joke. I don't know, personally. A lot of people do this kind of thing on TikTok to go viral. This is a theme in a lot of ARGs. There's always going to be fictional video series or art projects on social media with these types of dark themes in them. Like how many ARGs imply that people either get murdered or that the government is like killing people? And is that all stuff that we can't make fictional series about because it's a serious matter? Like, I'm sorry, as long as there's no actual victims involved or they're not using real victims of this as part of the storyline, I don't personally have a problem with it. I think they're doing it as a very, very clever marketing ploy. And it's working. They have over 300,000 followers, which is pretty good for TikTok. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Please like to help the channel. Please check out our sponsor, Hungry Root, and I will see you all in the next one. Special shout out to all of our patrons on the screen right now. Top tiers are Colin Holmes, The Duck of Cards, Michelle Valdovinos, Tom L, Little Kittle Cat, Mitchell Schaefer Meyer, Mike, Alice Paul, Brittany Phillips, Willow Winchester, Bambi, Momo Neon, Philip J, Marita144, Sage K, Elderly Hipster, Reese Rolls, The Puppy Hag, Rebecca Jackson, Toby, Carter, Kawakan Anime and Gaming Convention, Sonder, Sarah the Crazy Fish Lady, Blood for the Koi, Larkrar, Maxi, Ashley Danielle, Ellison Luna, Julieta, CC Picard, Sophia Wood, A Bunny Apparently, Leon Bannock, Destiny Riley, Literally Lacey, Elliot Fink, I Am In Your Walls, Habromania, Cyberdog Investigations LLC, Vicky Cat, Amy B, Tickerch, MX Carmelia, CJ, Death Without the E, Ball, Olivezilla, and Chara.